DLC 2, baby. The Indigo Disc. Road to toe toe toe. This is Clive Clavel. Do I have the pleasure of speaking with Master Wolfie? Thank you for addressing me correctly. Yep, that's me. You already know of the Univer region's Blueberry Academy, I presume. Absolutely, because I've watched the trailers and looked at some of the leaks. Indeed, tales of your school trip to Kitakami with the Blueberry cohort reached even my office. In any case, the director of Blueberry Academy happens to be an old friend of mine, and he told me that he would be delighted to host you as an exchange student at his school. I believe it would be a fine chance for you to learn even more about the world. One should always take advantage of new challenges like this, don't you think? I do think. Though I must confess, I was a bit surprised that Blueberry's director would specify you by name. Still, I think it best that you meet the man, at least once, to find out what he might be thinking. He's admittedly a bit of a character, but not to worry. I'll be there with you when you meet him. I... Clive, I, I, I would be more concerned about you than I would be most people. This is the same guy who dressed up as a school kid so he could hang around with other school kids. He's got a bit of bollocks to be telling other people that they're characters. Is this the guy? Woohoo! Like in the fit. Who do we have here? I know I've seen your face somewhere before. Who are you again? The name's Wolfie. Yes, yes, I know you. Well then, now that you're here, let's get going. Fucking hell, he, he was about to just whisk me off there and then. Hello there, Veli. You're as lively as always. Didn't realize you were here. Uh, I'm definitely, I'm calling, I'm calling him that from now on. Please tell me I can buy this outfit, because I'm fucking with this outfit. You better have somewhere in your academy where I can buy this. I do apologize, Master Wolf. You must be terribly confused. This is Director Cyrano, Cyrano of the Blueberry Academy. This is fucking, I'll tell you what, no, this is Director Fresh of the Blueberry Academy, looking like that. Met some of your students, one of them was named Carmine, I believe. She's the one who recommended you, base Carmine. Looking forward to seeing her again. Does unfortunately mean uh, we're gonna meet Kieran again as well. Rocking the world's shittest haircut. I'd be thrilled if you went to Blueberry Academy and got to know the students there. But only if you're willing to, of course. Oh, I, I don't know, man. New content? Mm, Paradox Ente? Mm, I don't know. Metagross? Excadro? Ah, I don't know. Incineroar? Ugh, I, I might have to pass on this one. I wish I could accompany Master Wolfie, but I'm afraid I must. I don't. I don't want you to come, Veli. You can stay here. Man can handle himself. Okay, I'm just gonna skip through the rest. They're talking. We 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 do it. We doing this Pokemon thing again where we talk too much. Let's 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 action. I like this academy. It looks cool. I don't know about this kid's uh, trim. Look at how blue the place is. I can't tell you how long I spent picking the perfect blueberry color. Why did you pick blueberry for the name, actually? I am curious. It's because in the language of flowers, the blueberry is said to represent a fruitful life. Huh? Did any of you know that? Always on point, aren't you, Lacey? Okay, so this is Lacey. New character. I feel like they, they tried to make this character look as anime as possible. Uh, I mean, at first glance, she's already got... Carmine and Kieran beat on the attitude test, so I'll give her that. We hold official matches on the central court right here at the entrance, and any student can freely utilize the court if it is not otherwise in use. I think it's safe to say you'll be battling more here than any other school. Couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, should we go on with this tour because there, there, there's, there's, there's too much talking. Lacey is a member of the Elite Four in the League Club... I know damn well you ain't gonna make me face a member of your Elite Four off rip. There's no way. Are they really gonna make me fight an Elite Four member? Straight away? Please don't tell me I'm gonna be like way under level for this. Why does this sound like Gem 5 music? Well, that was one of the battles of all time. Let's 
sorry about your mole. My mole steak. I mean, I can respect the plus or minus strategy. And an excadrill in there as well, because why not? Forgot I had a uniform for you. You'll feel like you fit right in as soon as you're dressed in the park. Does that mean I have to take off the flip-flops? Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This uniform ain't even that bad. This is not like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet to actually have a halfway decent looking outfit. Have one of these cards increases the selection. Ooh, okay, okay. Now that you look the part and hopefully feel it too, why don't we head into the school? I can show you the Pride of Blueberry Academy, our world famous terrarium. Yes, I want to see this thing. The massive underwater dome that they got. Hell yeah, I want to see that. Look at this. Have to come out an entrance tunnel and everything. Damn. The size of this thing. And this shit's underwater as well. We may be underwater, but the projectors built into the walls and ceiling make it feel like we're actually outside. I feel like it would have kind of been quite cool if you could actually see that you were underwater. It would have been trippy, but cool. And of course, Fresh designed it himself. Because... Because that's just what he does. Here we have a nice and toasty subtropical savanna biome. Then off to the right, you can see the breezy tropical coastal biome. Further out to your left, you'll see the craggy, crunchy, rugged canyon biome. Last but not least, way out in the distance, we have the arctic and snowy polar biome. Each biome's air temperature and humidity levels are regulated with the utmost care. That's why you can find completely different Pokemon species living in each area. Where do I find Excadrill? I want a mole and I want it now. Now that I've seen you got one, I want one. Which biome tickles your fancy? Where am I most likely going to fight? Probably in the canyon. Can you explain to us why crystals form here? And how the wild Pokemon are able to terrestrialize? The world's biggest disco ball? Bing bong bong bing. Practical battle class will commence shortly in the coastal biome. Students participating in this class... Oh, I'm not being funny. I didn't come here to attend class. Sorry. But you lot want to go and take care of that. And I'll go shiny hunt a mole real quick. No, I don't want to join you. You can't tell me you don't like studying. I will look you dead in your face and tell you. Oh, don't you want to come and study? No. Yeah, I got a dorm room as well. You open the Pokedex. Oh, okay, Pokedex update. Pokedex update. Like you can at least count on me to be around when you need me. So there's no call for concern. Probably time we both head to class. I'll be waiting for you to join us at the coastal biome. You will be waiting a while, Lacey. Thank you. Thank you for not making me go with you. But I shall not be joining you. Unless... Is that Perrin? Hey! What's up? She's back! Whoa, Perrin! I can really stand there and act like I don't know her. Good old Perrin is still kicking around. You're doing well yourself, eh? Sure appreciated all the help you gave me back in Kitakami tracking down the Blood Moon Beast. Never thought I'd just bump into you like this. How about I teach you a new pose to celebrate? Thank you for that. That's what I came here for, clearly. What about that Growlithe I entrusted to you? Uh, he's doing great, sat in the PC. <laughs> where he has remained since you gave him to me. I hope you put him on your team sometimes. Uh, yeah, to for sure. So here is some sort of exchange student. Nice. What a coincidence. Just started working here as a photographer. Just what I'd expect. The question is, Perrin, what are me and you going to be hunting down this time? Because we've been done Freddy Fazbear. So what are we... What, what are we uh, I presume you're not here to admire the surroundings. How about this? I'll snap some candid shots of you catching tons of Pokemon in the terrarium. Don't worry, you won't even notice I'm nearby. If I make enough headway in my work by the time you register, say, 200 Pokemon in the Blueberry Pokedex, I'll share that hot tip. Okay. Hey, we're back at it with the Gen 5 music again? Okay, okay. Looking very, uh, very Area Zero in here. There's my mole! You'll probably be the first thing I shiny hunt. Afraid this will have to be the end of our little tour. But let me leave you with one more tip. Here at Blueberry Academy, we have lots of extracurricular tasks you can do called Blueberry Quests. Or barbecues, for sure. The sort of like missions that the school assigns to students out and about in the terrarium. You might be asked to have your Pokemon do some auto battles or to catch specific Pokemon, those sorts of things. You never know what the next barbecue might be or where you need to go to carry it out. Okay. 
I mean, the back garden normally works fine, but you do also ask if you earn blueberry points. It's kind of school currency. We can use it in the cafeteria. Good. Okay, interesting. So we got side quests that we can go and do. Yep, extra curriculars. Row to toe toe toe. Hey, it's Carmine. How is it going? Heard the news. You got picked for Blueberry Academy's exchange program, right? Hell yeah. One of my teachers told me. Never thought we'd be fellow students of BB Academy. You should totally come show your face. It's been too long already. Where to meet up? A space called the Central Plaza, right in the center of the dome. I'll meet you there. Don't keep me waiting if you know what's good for you. So she hasn't changed a shade. That's good to know. And what's the bet that she wants to battle me when I get there? Uh, oh, do I see her up there? Yes, I do. Carmine. So yeah, things are a bit rough right now. Couldn't agree more. You have a visitor. Long time no see, Wolfie. Bet you miss me, huh? Yeah, sure. Why not? Who's this player? Time for me to go. Nice seeing you, Carmine. So long. Okay, so some sort of animatronic. Look at you. You haven't changed at all since we last met. As for me, well, I've been helping Miss Briar with her research. We've been to all sorts of different regions. It's made my Pokemon a lot stronger than they were the last time that we battled. You want to see? Go on then. Chat, we're not talking about it. By the way, have you, uh, uh, no, I haven't, and I'd, I'd quite like to keep it that way, if it's all the same. If you haven't seen him yet, it's fine. You kidding me? What, was this assignment too hard for you two? Wait, that's... Oh, fuck, he's, oh, no. What is bro doing? This motherfucker thinks he's Elvis standing over there tapping his foot. Thought I told you to train five Pokemon to battle with. Sorry. Things have been really hectic at home this month. Oh, got it. So that means you're just okay being this weak forever. <laughs> okay. That's the most base thing he's ever said. Good start. Fair enough. Since you're too busy, I'll go ahead and do you a favor. Wait, what, what is the face? I'll write your resignation from the club for you. I don't need people in my club who don't take it seriously. Oh, he's a dickhead. He's just gone full on dickhead. Good. This, this is what I like to see, Indigo Disc. This is the Kieran that I wanted. Just an absolute tosser i did not what i was expecting but what i was sorely hoping for looks different acts different he hasn't been the same since we got back from the school trip that's because he got absolutely dust binned he's never been the same since we really sent this kid on his fucking villain arc am i heard of you are you the new kid with the wild backstory what a lovely surprise just the annoying bozo i didn't want to run into this is drayton and he's the worst Okay, so we like Drayton. He's the strongest trainer at Blueberry Academy. Well, he was, at least. Oh, don't tell me you lost to Kieran. This is Wolfie. He's here on a foreign exchange program. He's my friend, and... What about Kieran? You friends with the guy? What the f- How the fuck are these my options? Piss off, game! No, we're not! We were never! Oh, I see. That's great. Alright, Wolfie, how about I show you our club room? 
Why do you need to do that? You haven't joined any of the clubs we got here, right? Take it from me. You'll have a way better time here if you join. Oh, we got like different clubs. Okay, fair enough. We'd love to have such an interesting new member. In fact, we better call dibs now. Well, I mean, you can't, can't, you can't go back on that. So we're going to have rivaling clubs. I like this. Faction wars. This sounds good. Told you he was the worst. Look at him. Just assuming we'll go along with whatever. Oh, yeah, because you never do that, Carmine. And of course you're going to come with me because you're low-key obsessed with me. You literally came back from Kitakami and begged your fucking director to get me here on an exchange visit. Please, please get him here. You have to get him. You sure this is a good idea, you know, because because of Kieran? Nah, don't worry. He won't show up here anytime soon. I ain't fucking joining his club. Although, I would like to see the look on his face. We Blueberry Academy students have our own Pokemon battle ranking system, the BB League. Here in the League Club, we battle each other to train up so we can climb the ranks. We win, we lose, we have a good old rowdy time. Such is our humble club in a nutshell. I'm a member of the club too. I don't show up to the club room very much though. Just FYI, the top four Pokemon trainers in the BB League are called the BB League Elite Four. And this annoying toothpaste-haired bozo is one of them. So is that girl you saw with me at the terrarium earlier. Too bad you didn't make the cut, Carmine. Well, she ain't like that. <laughs> what do you think, Wolfie? Fun club, huh? Yeah, sounds good. I like it. Feel the enthusiasm. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, I think that takes care of it. You're in on a trial basis. What do you mean trial basis? You heard me. As far as the Draster's concerned, guarantee you he's the only one who calls himself that. We're clubmates now. Trial basis clubmates. You can now use this club room freely and do whatever with the stuff here. Got a really nice present for you from one charming catch to another. The catching charm. You just get... Okay, we, 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 we like the Draster. We like this guy. Oh, that bozo. Seriously, what is his problem? cafeteria day what does he even mean by i know damn well you ain't getting territorial over this guy asking me if i want to go and eat a bacon sandwich with him calm down carmine sorry being in here puts me on edge why why does it put you on edge oh that oh 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 yeah very yeah very smooth carmine oh no being in here is really putting me on edge we should go to your room you think i'm trying to get my ass locked up you can come have a look at my room later too fucking Pause! Chill! Holy shit, Carmine! What are you gonna say about Kieran? Go on, I wanna hear it. Kiki is, well, you saw how he is. He's scaring me nowadays. Ever since we got back from Kitakami, it's like he's become a totally different person. He's been battling and training every day. He's even cutting back on sleep. He's definitely gotten stronger. Drayton used to be the strongest student here, but Kiki beat him. Now Kiki's the president of the league club and the BB League champion. And you invited me into the club without even telling him. If Kieran's down to just one friend these days, I'm glad it's... Oh, no. 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 Can't you read the... I can read the room. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that I'm going to say yes. There's one more thing I need to tell you about. Go on. Don't trust that knucklehead. He might seem like a slacker, but don't let him fool you. He's up to something. He's a real annoying suit. Okay, so she actually despises him. Barely even goes to the class, so has to repeat the same year three times. Okay. So he slacks. She really hates him because he doesn't do his homework. Like, here's the Drace to take. The Academy special is the best thing on the menu. It's also soft, you can basically just gulp it down. Barely even need to chew. Uh, you should probably chew your food. You and my ma would get along. So he's basically just lazy as fuck. Listen, your Pokemon are pretty strong, yeah? With a team like that, you've got a shot at becoming the BB League champion. Wouldn't that be wild? An exchange student just rolling up here and snatching the crown. I want to see you join the BB League, Wolfie. You in? Yeah. Look who's decided to grace us with their presence. Ah. Oh, he looks like such a knob. I can't get over it. I'm liking this guy with the frying pan, though. He's got the right idea. You want to hand me that thing? I've got something I could do with it. What did you want to talk to me about? Nothing special. Just thought we could grab a bite. Where better to do that than the cafeteria? Is he really going to just pretend like I'm not sitting here? 
and like it's not like burning him inside. If you've got so much time to goof off, why don't you go train your Pokemon? I think maybe this is why you always lose to me. Oh, he really thinks he's him. So I can't swing a lunch date with you even if I got your old pal with me? <laughs> Keep sitting there, just like, hey! Yep, guess who, bitch? Long time no see. Why? Didn't hear that he was coming to study abroad here? For real? His whole empire just crumbled around him. We're already tight, us two. In fact, I was just asking Wolfie to join the BB League. Oh, I like that. That'd be fire. What? A student from another school joining the BB League. Unprecedented. We may be wonderfully capable in battle, but that doesn't mean he belongs in the... Since when do you make the rules? I'm, 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 with, I'm with Drayton on this one. I think we should vote on it. I'm a yes, obviously. How about you, Lacey? I'm sorry, but... Uh, sorry. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Actually, I'm sorry, but considering the rules, it's a no from me. What about you, Crispin? Based, like Crispin. What about the android? What do you say? Actually, I abide by the rules of this institution. Proposition dec- <laughs> Means it's up to you, Kiki. Doesn't matter who I'm facing. I don't lose. Oh, he's, he's, he's saying, yeah? Kieran's actually not going to be a nerd emoji? And he just walks off. You ain't him. Lacey was so cool earlier, and now she's giving it all this actually. Fuck off. Listen, you, you can't spell Lacey without an L. That's all I'm saying. A fucking capital one at that. May, maybe Lacey has her reasons. She, see, she seemed real down to earth earlier. The other one's basically just an android, so... How can I help you today? Well, unusually attractive receptionist. I would like to join the BB League. Thank you. Says here you're an exchange student, which means you're not technically enrolled here at our academy. Yeah, well, it, it says here that I don't give a fuck. We Elite Four talked it over real quick. My friend here is good to join. I don't mean to sound rude, but I'm not sure if I can take what you say at face value, Drake. Okay, so there's obviously something low-key shady about this guy. There's got to be a reason that no one trusts him. And I doubt it's just because he's lazy. There's probably something low-key a bit off about him. I'm allowing Wolfie to join the BB League. Yes, champion. One moment, please. Dude, how are you letting this dude that's half the size of everyone just, like, boss you around? Yeah, he just, wa he just wants the run back. Wolfie. You better not go losing to anyone until our battle. Like I'd lose. Go and pull the face again. Oh, what the fuck? It Whoa. Okay, don't ever pull that face again. Not a little kid anymore. And you'll know it when I show you how the best of the best battle. What's with the... Why does he stand like this? Do you notice how he sort of like walks up and then he just goes... I'm going to show you how the best of the best battle. Oh, you're joining the club? My man has got some attitude. Listen, hey, I'm not, for what it is, I, I like this new Kieran. This is way better than the whiny little bitch we got in DLC 1. I'm here for the drama. You'll skip straight to challenging the Elite Four at their respective bases in the terrarium once you clear their trials, that is. I'll go ahead and mark their locations. In it. Oh, okay, now, okay. Fair enough. Ooh, so Android uses steel, Drayton uses dragon, Lacey uses fairy. What a shocker. Crispin uses fire. Equally as shocking. To challenge the Elite Four, you'll need BP, which you can earn by doing barbecues. All right, well, let me go get someone out the freezer and we can... We can hook you up. Let's start with... <laughs> Thank you, Drayton. Sounds good. <laughs> I have a feeling like these guys are all going to be absolutely cracked. Where are we thinking we want it? Is that is this just what they want me to do? They just want me to go and flip in. Well, I'll tell you what, since I've got a sun team, we can go and dust bin the android first. Elite trial. Talk to me. You need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the elite trial here. Oh, I have just that. So there you go. That is my whole bank account gone right there. Duly received and noted. Here she comes, our very own android. Wolfie. Yes, as you see, I'm present and ready for your trial. Change of location is required. Come. No. What if I don't want to come? The decision to allow you to take on the league was irregular. An exception among exceptions. I was against it, as you know, but the Academy allowed it, and their ruling is absolute. Therefore, I will carry out my duty as a member of the Elite Four, as flawlessly as I always do. The Elite Trial I devise starts right here. I call my challenge the Flying Time Trial. You will need to fly around the skies of the terrarium while riding a Pokemon. 
Reach the goal within the prescribed time, and you will pass the. You're really challenging me to do a time trial. You know who the fuck you're talking to? Why do the Magnemite rings and extra time will be added to your countdown? Oh, let me put the good glasses on for this one then. Okay, I assume you have a Pokemon to ride on. I do, in fact, have Kuridon. Kuridon these nuts. Hey, yeah, you're getting more new abilities? What your Aggies just consumed is a supplement that enhances Pokemon's flight capabilities. I prepared it using the leaves of a mysterious plant that was found growing in the terrarium. You just gave weed to my dragon? And that makes him fly. The question is, how bad is it going to lag? Oh my god, we're playing Spyro. We are playing Spyro the Dragon, ladies and gentlemen. How about this? Alright, big drop coming. Whoa. I don't actually see what I'm doing here, but we managed it. Up, up, up. That's the finish line. Well, damn. That was uh, one of the time trials of all time. With flying colors, eh? Good one, I like it. That was, that was an impressive display of punctuality. punctuality. Must admit, it was satisfying to watch you fly. Congratulations, you have cleared my elite trial. Now a change of location is required once again. Yeah, Battlefield, here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. Activate, Activate battle, battle mode. mode. Skarmory and... Very interesting, okay. All right, okay. I mean, let's do it. Wait, did the trick room run out? Oh, no, she returned it to normal. Okay, I don't know why she did that. We may just squeeze through this. Yeah! <laughs> God, I so barely won that. Strength of one's Pokemon reflects the strength of one's belief. Your desire to... I don't know. I don't give a fuck about Kieran. I mean, I gotta give her the respect. That was a... That was hard. She was tough anyway. The moment that Runiclus fucking popped trick room. Damn. One Elite Four member beat. Things are looking good for you. Fucking yeah, not off. Whew. It might just be the one we need to shake things up in the league club. That's it from me.
Good luck with the remaining three. The remaining elite three, sorry. This is my team after that first match. This is the absolute state of my team right now. I was not ready for that trick room at all. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to level up the team a little bit. Perhaps be uh, just slightly better prepared. Oh, hey, saw you in the cafeteria. You're Wolfie, right? Just a person to get my energy pump in. I feel like I'm cooking a nice simmer over here. We've got to move elsewhere for this next part. Are they going to make me do the same thing again? Or my elite trial is putting together a super spicy sandwich. And I mean super spicy. I want something so hot it will have me breathing flames. You have to negotiate with the league club members around here to get... Oh, what? Yeah, that is going to set your shit alight. And all of your mag mortars. Yeah, there you go. Oh, he liked that. I think he liked that. Dude's got steam coming out of his ears. And the verdict? Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Okay, well, having done those trainer battles, I'm definitely pulling the rain team out. You give me the chance to actually prepare first, don't you? No, no, not just yet. Not just yet. Not just yet. Don't know how this team is going to fare in doubles, but we will see. It'd be funny if his whole team was just six mag mortars, dude. Could you imagine? I'll leave the cam on this time, don't worry. I take it there's some messy history between you and Kieran. It just seems like Drayton's cooking up something fishy, too. Everything's getting so complicated. Can't you all just get over yourselves? If you want to say something, just say it. If you want to do something, just do it. See? I like this guy. Not the kind of guy who wastes time sweating the small stuff. I battle because I want to battle. You know what? That's how it should be. This guy's a legend. How tough of a legend, though, is the question. All right, then, Crispin. What you got?
you hide behind that pan. That was amazing. Crank the heat all the way up, eh? I love battles and I love cooking because they're both so easy to understand. In battles, you either win or you lose. With cooking, your dish is either spicy or not spicy. Simple, right? Right now, the mood in the league club feels, I don't know, off. It's so frustrating. I wish I knew how we could go back in, uh, back to being the fun club we were before. It's all Kieran's fault. So we two down. Spurred by desperation, user attacks a target. Lose power doubled if the previous... Oh, okay. Interesting. Thank you, Crispin. I don't think your Magmortar can run that fast. That's two Elite Four members down already, huh? We sure are crushing it. Crispin's no pushover. He's just super straightforward. I think that's kind of part of his charm, you know? We used to all chow down on Crispin's cooking after club activities let out. Those were the days. Guess he's been worrying about the way things are too in his own way. Oh, speak of the devil. Seems like things are going well with the BB League. Right, Wolfie? It'd be so disappointing if Wolfie had gotten weaker. God, this dude's like, actually, he's gone mad. The way he does this sort of like psychopathic like... I can't show you how strong I've gotten if you don't even make it to me. Yeah, how are you going to try and act tough when you're literally wearing a fanny pack? Like, come on now. The bum bag. A slightly more convincing win that time around. Kind of shits me up anyway, because all it takes is for it to flip in, like, like, one bad turn and it can just be turned around completely. Are all their teams the same level? Or are they just getting, like, gradually higher as I'm going? Can we just have another quick one, like the time trial? Really sorry for the way I protested you joining the BB League, Wolfie. Of course, it's true that it's quite irregular under the bylaws of our school club. But mainly, I didn't want you to get dragged into the drama that's been troubling the club lately. It's content! Don't worry about it. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let her off for that. What's the trial? A Pokemon quiz. I'll ask you five questions. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Hit me! For $1,000. Here's question number one. Are you about to ask me what is that? Pikachu is an electric-type Pokemon, well known for producing electricity within its body. But in which part of its body does it store the electricity it generates? Uh, I believe it is in its cheeks. For $2,000. What's, what's Venonat saying? Even on the darkest of nights, Venonat is able to use a certain part of its body like radar, which allows it to detect surrounding objects. Uh, it, clearly it's feet. Like, come on now. We all know bugs use their feet as radars. What the fuck? It's not? Is it the eyes? Okay. I mean, if the question is, what does Venonat use to see? Then that's what I would have answered. So why has it got the antenna then? What the fuck is the point in having them? Or is they just there for show? Yorkshire? How about a cup of tea? Always. I don't actually have one on me right now. Here's question three. Sinistee like to live in precious antique cups. There are a lot of phonies out there. It's hard to tell which cups are genuine antiques. One of these three Sinistee... Uh, is an antique form Sinistee, meaning it found a real antique cup. But which Sinistee has the real deal? Okay, give me a mo, give me a mo. Oh, it's the middle one. It's the middle one. Middle one. That was quick. You can actually get outbreaks for like antique Sinistee. Or you can do it for um. Uh, Poltergeist as well. You can actually, if you're lucky enough, you can actually get outbreaks that are like exclusively the ones with the mark. They're incredibly, incredibly rare, but you actually, you can get them. Wait, so the pink one's the top one. Was I supposed to be keeping track of which one, where the pink one was? There's this one. Yep. Very last question. For the million dollars, we got a gramble. Maybe I heard the word pink and decided to stop by. This little sweetie is one of my own Pokemon. It's always with me. Last question, question five will involve Gramble here. Gramble is a quiet, delicate, and lovable Pokemon, of course, but can you tell me this? When I take a nap with my adorable Gramble, which part of his body do I use as a pillow? Clearly these fucking massive jaws right here. Tummy? I was gonna say, where, where, where else are you gonna use? And just like that, we're millionaires. Thanks for playing. Who wants to beat Lacey Shitty Quiz? See you next time. The question is now, is how hard is the fight going to be? Let's get ready. Adjust the hair clip. 
let me just adjust the glasses. Let's go, Lacey. Can learn flamethrower, dipshit. I should probably give my scissor away. <laughs> One of these times, he will get to do something. You're the cutest, Lacey? Nah. Your Excadrill is the cutest. Well, survived three out of four, even with me playing like an idiot. So since the last one, I've been busy. I've been off. I've been doing things. Uh, first and foremost, I have been grinding the absolute shit out of the Pokedex. And we're up to 205. I think it goes up to 250 in this one. But in any case, we're up to 205. And this is important because this is going to factor into the first thing that we're going to do. Which uh, is going to be collect my dream ball, obviously. And that's it. That's the end of the stream. I think we have a meeting scheduled with old Perrin. Because she was the one who asked us to go and get 200 in the Pokedex. And I think it's time to go and get that hot tip, don't you? You already got yourself 200 Pokemon from the Terrarium. Impressive. It was nothing. Apart from sponging off other people's starter spawns. I guess you've earned yourself that hot tip. Take a look at these photos, would you? Is, 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 is that my guy? Is, is that my guy sitting up on top of the cliff there? Probably the single biggest reason I've been looking forward to this DLC. And there's another one as well. Yeah, there's, there's, there's big yellow ass sticking out from behind a rock as well. There's that. Considering I know what this is behind the rock, I'd love to know how you got this shot. I'd love to know how you managed to get this shot where you cannot see its head at all. First one's called Gouging Fire and the other one's Raging Boner. Bolt. Raging Bolt, sorry. Totally unknown Pokemon in totally unknown places. If they're real, it'd be a huge deal. Apparently these places are in Paldea. You have any idea where? I do. I don't know exactly where they are, but they're cl it's clearly Area Zero. And with that, I think it's time we bring back the idiot Endeavor. Uh, how, how many Pokeballs have we got? Uh, 525. 
Make a mental note of that number. It's going to be important. Hello, area zero, my old friend. It's been a while. Uh, where would I even begin to go? I'll tell you, we might as well... We might as well start from the top. It showed Entei up on a cliff somewhere, so I would like to think that I'd be able to spot that. It depends how close I have to get. I mean, if they're stationary, that probably helps, because... At least I'm not going to run off anywhere. See, here's here's the immediate problem. I'm not sure if you noticed, but there's quite a few cliffs. Yeah, this is how we climb. Hang on. I saw something. Hello, gorgeous. How you doing? Looking like he's got Aku Aku on his head. Okay, let's, 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 let's get... He's... Big. It's a big. Well, I can't really call him a dog anymore, can I? He's more like a triceratops. Idiot endeavor. Take 54. Damn. Gouging fire. Alright, Shag, me and you are taking this thing on. We're gonna go straight in the turn one Pokeball. And let's see. Imagine the scenes. No, okay. You, you gotta do that turn one. You gotta do the turn one. I wanna imagine this thing doesn't have any recoil moves, but it could have Flare Blitz, possibly Outrage, Burning Ball. Yeah, let's not hit that. Let's not hit that. We'll start False Swiping now. We've, we've thrown a couple, thrown a couple. Is it a special attacker? No, 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 no. Oh, we're burned. Yep, there's the signature move. Spiky Shield, but it burns you. That's not broken at all. And uh, unfortunately, <laughs> Shag actually doesn't have guts. He's the only one in the entire game who has toxic boosts. So that burn is actually useless to me. They'd actually given him... That That was a crit. That that was pathetic is what that was. I like this thing's design. Almost there. Fire blast. Okay, we're in the clear. We're in the clear. No recoil moves. I literally sat for like two entire nights grinding the shit out of the Pokedex just so I could come and get this thing. ASAP. I didn't want to wait. Didn't want to wait. Soon as I found out what Perrin's hot tip was for, that was it. How fitting that Entei was the highest ranked on the original Idiot Endeavor leaderboard. And in a way, he's kind of kicking this one off. We're not going to have a repeat of the same, are we? Good effort, Shag. You did what you need to. I've basically just brought... I've just brought all of the highest level shit. In fact, we're gonna go Thor, just so that I can try and get Thunder Wave in. Weird how you can't get Walking Wake and Iron Leaves here. I think I saw a thing that they're gonna bring that event back really soon. I think I saw that on, like, Cerebi or something like that. I never actually got Iron Leaves. I was never able to do it. We're not making very much progress with this one so far. He's gonna be a stubborn one. He wants to follow in the footsteps of regular Entei. Nothing more I can do. He's at 1 HP. He's paralyzed, so weird having these here, but not the rest of them. I don't see why they don't just put him in. Like, at this point, just add Walking Wake. Like, if you've got Scarlet, just add Walking Wake to Area Zero. Just, just find somewhere else to put him. Two shakes. Three shakes! Close. I have to say, it is kind of a shame that they've I know it doesn't really apply to these two, but it's a shame that they've shiny locked all the legendaries. I was actually, I was kind of looking forward to trying to hunt some of them. Never really done that before. Is that it? Holy shit, that is it. Gouging fire. Welcome to Team Twat. There are scant few reports of this creature being sighted. One short video shows it rampaging and spouting pillars of flames. This thing is heavy. Nickname? Of course. I'm sorry, it looks like Aku Aku, okay? You can't tell me that thing on his head does not look like Aku Aku. I won't hear it. Now we gotta go look for the other one. Anyone lurking around here, perhaps? Oh! Well, hello there. What the hell? That is the neck to end all necks. Based on a Stegosaurus? I don't know what Stegosaurus you've seen looking like that. Uh, how many balls? How many balls are we on? How many balls? Balls, balls, balls. We've got lots of balls. Okay. That means Entei took 14. You hear that? 14 is your target to beat. I believe you can do it. This is a very interesting pick for Raikou, I have to say. It's an interesting... I can't even see... He's so... I can't even see his head. I'm trying to do the zoom out thing. I can't... Let's have it. One Pokeball. Go! Imagine? No. I would never imagine. Thunderclap. 
I don't know why the name of that move is so funny to me. Thunderclap these cheeks. It's a good move, though. I'll start false swiping. Dragon Hammer. Damn. Why does the animation for that go so crazy? I like the way we're in the most shallow water ever. Like, it's up to my ankles, and Shag still feels the need to stand on this thing. Don't thunderclap me again. Don't clap my cheeks. Thank you. So, Dragon Hammer, Dragon Pulse, Thunderclap, and I don't know what the last one is. It better not be Recoil. Rising Voltage, that's fine. I'm battling Kieran, wish me luck. You won't need it. Even in the brief moments that it zooms out enough that you can see his head, you can't see his face anyway because the cloud's in the way. It's an interesting design, to say the least. At what angle do I even flip in? Oh, there we go. Hey, now we can see his face. We started on 511, didn't we? What? I was going to say. I was going to say. Number seven? Well, that was easy. It's said to incinerate everything around it with lightning launch from its fur. Very little is known about this creature. Yes, because you can never fucking see it. I wonder if they'd actually let me call him Raging Boner. Come on, Game Freak. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Raging Boner it is. Okay. So, we have one remaining member of the BB Elite Four. I was having a little bit of trouble with the first three. The first one, the android, she caught me way off guard. She suddenly came up with a trick room team, wasn't ready for it at all, and we damn near lost. Like, Ogapon had to hard bail me out of that one. Managed to get through the other two, not quite so bad, but it made me go away and take a long, hard look in the mirror and realize that uh, my teams are a bit shit. Been away, and I've built a team. plan is there's going to be three different versions of this team. There's going to be this one. There's going to be the version that I specifically dustbin Kieran with. And then there's going to be like a final form version. Like an ultimate perfect form. All right. So now we're going to fight Drayton. This guy's dragons. I'm expecting a cool team. I'm expecting like mostly pseudos. You'll probably have that, um, that new one, Arc Aladon. You know, I was thinking about the look you get when you're in battle. And I realize I've only ever seen you like that from the sidelines. Well, you're about to feel the full force of it. Let's take him on! Show me the team. Flygon and Dragonite. Not bad, not bad. Enjoy the double Intimidate, by the way. Uh, Aurora Veil. And I'm faking out this Dragonite. Maybe he had multi-scale. If so, then he hasn't got it anymore. Okay, hit me with the Earthquake. Oh, Collingwood eats those. Liking it, I'm liking it. We actually, we might as well stay in with Ninetales. Just go for the Blizzard. Just fly gone die to this. I'm, I'm, I'm more threatened by the Dragonite. Extreme speed. Took it well. Got a berry. Okay. Yeah, I thought Flygon was going to die to that. That is a shiny Alolan Ninetales. And it was a pain in the ass to find. Flygon's out. One down. Get a U-turn. Ah, uh, who we want to bring in? Who we want to bring in? I'm thinking Yorkshire. The Cupper. Give Lola that health back. Kingdra! I see. I like Kingdra. Kingdra's cool. It's Trick Room time! Rain Dance, absolutely fine. I hope you're not Swift Swim because... We eat those. I say, I hope you're not Swift Swim because that's about to fuck your day right up. I'm thinking... Terra Fairy, Hyper Voice, and go for a Matcha Gotcha as well. This is a Pixelate Sylveon as well, so this is about to hurt. Come on, Bonnie. Jump scare them for me. Incoming. <laughs> Bye! Seems like luck itself has a soft spot for you. 
What are these Johns? You're really gonna sit there and cry luck when I just dustbin like half your team. He was gonna die anyway. You're telling me Kingdra was living that? Haxorus, that dies. Sceptile, Sceptile. Okay, interesting pick. Oh, don't mind me, I'll just go again. Focus Sash Haxorus? I don't know who got the crit there. It's a Focus Sash. So that would have been a double kill. I feel like we probably got the crit on Sceptile. Because I, I feel like Haxorus was kind of dying to that anyway. Archaladon, I thought so. It's Terra Dragon. Surely it's Terra Dragon. I'm going to specifically Moonblast it. Just because I can. Just because I know he's going to Terra Dragon. Oh, we could fake it out as well. Oh, just to be a dick. Just to be an absolute dick. Now watch this dragon's blood boy. Take control, Archaladon. <laughs> well, enjoy your Moonblast. I saved it specially for you. Good effort. <laughs> We've absolutely shredded him. Why is this team actually kind of cracked? He's All he's got left is a one HP Haxorus, and he still can't kill Sylveon. That has to be friendship. Folk, yeah, I was going <laughs> to The one time he gets a crit and I get the friendship focus sash. Have I still got Trick Room up? I've still got Trick Room up as well. Well, Bonnie, you're the MVP, so you you, def you, you definitely get to, you get to take this one. Bonnie has basically single-handedly shredded this guy's entire team. Yeah, it's just, it's just the disrespect at that point. Mate, my Sylveon's got attitude. After that absolute massacre, he was like, I'm not even going to give you the pity kill. I like this Sylveon. Man, that was ridiculous. So much fun. I knew inviting you to join the league club was the right move. And I guess if you can beat me, we better make you a full member finally. What do you say? Ready to be the real deal? I wonder what would happen if you just said no. Obviously. Bless you and your generous heart. Come on, let's get a photo of you for the club roster. All right. W selfie? I actually like this one. I might even save that. Ooh, so does this mean I get to fight Kieran now? Man, it's like I blinked and you've plowed through the whole BB league. You know what's next for you, right, bud? You're good enough to beat all Elite Four of us. So you, and only you, have the right to challenge the sitting BB League champion, Kieran. Oh, speak of the devil. You really kept me waiting. Okay, I know, I know, Kieran, I know damn well. You did not just watch that battle and then you're coming up here trying to chat shit. I, no, no, no. You were sitting over there in the distance shitting your pants because you now know the same thing's about to happen to you. You sure are putting a lot of effort into helping Wolfie out? Yes, because he's a legend. Whatever you're planning is about to come to an end. Wolfie. Let's settle who's the strongest between us two. Once and for all. All right, bum bag. See you later. It's not like we've already settled that several times. I'm gonna have to go and sign you up at the front desk to get your championship match going. No sense waiting around. Let's go. Ready to sign up for your official match? Are we gonna do it here? You said you and Kieran are friends, right? That's the closest thing you're gonna give me to know, so that'll do. No need to be shy about it. Friend drama is just a part of life at your age. We're not even friends, but here's the Drace to take. I like Kieran better when his hair was down. Here's the Wolf's to take. I don't think anyone liked him ever. Used to be this quiet little guy, trembled like a leaf, had all the spine of a wimpod. He'd hide behind Carmine if you so much as breathe too loud. But I tell you what. When it came to Pokemon battling, I never saw so much joy in anyone's eyes as in his. But then out of nowhere, he changed. Now he's relentless, pushes himself, pushes everyone around him. Nothing good's gonna come of this. Someone's gotta snap him out of it. I tried but couldn't do it. Guess I've gone soft from the lazy life. Guess now it falls to you. Sorry, bud. Oh, don't, don't apologize. I'll gladly do it. Question is, is he gonna put up a better or worse fight than Drayton? Humble the fuck out of him? Yes, sir. Kept me waiting. I've worked so hard for a chance to show you what I can really do, Wolfie. I put everything into studying and making my Pokemon stronger. I crushed the Elite Four and became champion. All of that hard work. All of it. All of it was just so that I could beat you. Right here, right now. You really just gave it the flipping. And all this death, just so I could kill you. Oh, whoa. Calm down there, mate. You are challenged by BB League champion Kieran. Go on then, what you got? Dragonite Politoed? Oh, you gonna set the rain up for me? Or are you gonna cancel out my snow? That's kind of annoying. Yeah, he's gonna cancel it out. 
Fucking dick. Okay. Well, this isn't all bad. We still get the Intimidate off. And I'm still going to fake that Dragonite out. Don't worry, Bonnie's not going to do much here. He's going to come in and then immediately switch back out again. So... I'm rocking Dragonite around here. Weather Ball. Alright. Decent hit. Give you that. See how hard I've trained? Not like the kid you bound in Kitsukami. <laughs> We're going to switch straight back out. He's probably going to Weather Ball again. I just want to see his reaction. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. There we go. Now. Guess who? Remember this one, Kieran? Mm-hmm. You've got some nerve bringing out the ogre now of all times. <laughs> Hurricane. All right. Aurora Veil, please. If you'd be so kind. Horn Leech. Let's get it going. And now we're ready. We'll bosh. Good. We have that health back, please. Wowzers. Ice Weather Ball. That's neutral. Mm-hmm. What happened? He gets a crit. Of course he gets a crit. Okay, so you get the satisfaction of killing Ogapon. Let's make him sick. In fact, no, I've got an even better idea. I'm going to make sure that you die from this. Bye-bye. I can take at least one attack from this Politoed. Or a dozen. He's got an Incineroar. All right. I see you. I had a different plan in mind, but unfortunately, it involved Ogapon being alive, so we're not going to be able to do that one. Goes flesh straight into. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Kieran! Is that it? Let me get this belly drum real quick. You gotta be kidding. You couldn't even kill my tummy bug with a flare blitz? Hey, Dr. Banner's gonna have to do something about this one. It's fine. Good. All right, Bonnie. Are you two ready to just run an absolute train on this guy's team? I'm gonna get medieval on your asses. See you in hell. Go ahead, make my day. Oh, he's in shambles. What? He actually lost? Let's go, guys. Back to your knitting. <laughs> no! Why? This wasn't supposed to happen! Oh! Dude, imagine going on a whole villain arc and getting dustbinned anyway. Good match, you two. Too bad about the outcome, though, huh? X. Oh! <laughs> Drayton, there was no need. He was already dead. He was already dead, Drayton. There was no need. He really just went and crouched down next to him and went, X champion. Look at you, buddy. Way to go. Guess we've got a new BB League champion. The Academy's got a prize for people like you who make it all the way to being champion. Here, all yours. Oh, thanks. Never going to use that, by the way. Hey, Kieran. May not mean much coming from a guy who couldn't beat you, but... I wish you'd go back to having fun with all this. I get that burning desire to win. I mean, who doesn't like winning? But don't let that desire burn you to a crisp. It's hard to watch. I won't lose. Next time, for sure. Oh, oh, oh I'll win. <laughs> Next time, I'll win. <laughs> we might um, interrupt. Of course, uh, first of course, we want to offer Wolfie our congratulations for becoming champion. Really is an amazing achievement. Something that should be celebrated. 
But with the way things are now, I'm sorry to say that it does, well, complicate matters. We're having a bit of a hard time knowing how we ought to proceed. Well, I mean, yeah, that's true. I'm not even a student at this school and I'm the champion now of the school that I don't go to. If Wolfie is our champion, that means he's head of the league club. Uh, Kieran's kicked out. He's excommunicado. Kieran rejoins the Elite Four after having lost the rank of champion. That will push Crispin out of... Oh, no, no, we can't have that. We can't have that. I ain't having no one pushing Crispin out of the Elite Four. Why can't we get rid of the android? Why can't we get rid of her? Senji, she can give it the whole... Actually... Let's hear from Kieran himself what he would like to do next. I think he's going to go and have a breakdown. Bing, bong, bong, bing. This is an announcement for the following students. BB League X champion Kieran, top elite four member Drayton, Carmine of class 3-2, Wolfie R exchange student. Okay, there's a very specific list of people. BB League champion Kieran. <laughs> this guy. Mate, this guy. Drayton is, I, he's my favorite character in this DLC. 100%. He just, he doesn't give a shit. Take a selfie with Kieran? That's not a halfway bad idea. Oh, while he's standing there like that? Hell yeah. I never, ever take selfies in this game. I hope you know, Kieran, I'm doing this especially for you. We gotta, we gotta strike a pose. We gotta strike... Wait, can I laugh at him? We need a few copies of that, Kieran. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm having way too much fun with this. Thank you all for coming. Pleased to inform you that some very special guests are here to see you today. They left for a tour of the school mere minutes ago, but I believe they'll return soon enough. In the meantime, I'll fill you all in on the situation. Please have a seat. I want all of you here to join me on an expedition to the scheduled and mysterious Area Zero. My main goals are to investigate the terrestrial phenomenon and to gather samples of the crystals present in the crater. But to be honest, I also have one more ambition for this trip. I'm hoping we can find Terrapagos, the legendary Pokemon slumbering in Area Zero. Oh, fucking hell, his eyes just lit up. Kieran, don't even think about it. Oh, fuck off, Gita. God, I thought I'd seen the last of you, and I can't even remember your name. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gita, and I'm the chairwoman of the Pokemon League in Paldea. Okay, at least she's stopped calling herself the top champion. More than, ha Ugh. More than a decade ago, the Pokemon League provided support for research on Area Zero, the great crater at the center of Paldea. Once that research was complete, we shifted our duties to monitoring and managing the area. Area Zero is full of mysteries, and also danger. Generally speaking, the area is off-limits, even for research. That being said, recently, we've had to confront the possibility that dangerous Pokémon could escape the area. Hey, listen, I just- they escaped in my custody. Gouging Fire and Raging Boner won't be causing any problems, unless I tell them to. At our Pokémon League, we've had trouble finding capable personnel. Not to mention time to study Area Zero. So? We're, 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 we're doing it. This is entirely voluntary, of course, but it would be very reassuring to have you with us. What do you say? Yeah, I'm in. Splendid! Oh yeah, of course now Carmine wants to go as well. Your support it will be very useful as always, Carmine. I appreciate having you on board. I'm also... Oh, come on, Drayton. I need you there. Who's going to roast Kieran? I need someone there to bully him while we're on the way down. We need entertainment. Yeah, he can't be asked. He, he literally can't be asked. I'm curious what our mighty ex <laughs> What our mighty ex champion is thinking, though. I'm going. If there's a legendary Pokemon there. I want to find it and catch it. I've got to go with this Bozo, but Drayton's not going to come. Why can't I assemble my own team? Why can't I take Drayton? I'll go get Nimona. And then we can take, I don't know. We could take Crispin. Crispin's cool. See, you're putting your skills to good use and living up to your title as a Paldea champion, even while abroad. That's what champions do. Did you have anything you actually wanted to talk to me about, or... You went into the Great Crater without the leagues. Yeah, the fuck are you gonna do about it? Oh, oh, I'm... Oh, oh, watch out, chat. I'm gonna get a scolding for that. You're gonna get a scolding from my fucking Paradox Entei. That's what champions do. <laughs> All right, let's go. Kieran's sulking in the corner, as per. Come on, bumbag. Mr. X champion. I'm fine. I know what I have to do now. I'll find this legendary Pokemon in Area Zero, no matter what it takes. You're so boring. I'm curious, actually, when, where exactly are we going to have to go here? Because I searched just about every inch of this place, and I ain't seen no turtle. Little bit more, little bit more, little bit more, little bit more, and down we go. And 
this looks about right. Ah, perfect. Place is insane. Reminds me of the Crystal Pool. This is the Zero Lab, I take it. Structure's exterior matches Gita's description, at least. So this is the deepest point in Area Zero? No, apparently it isn't. Yes and no. This is the deepest point that Area Zero Expedition managed to reach long ago. I've been told that the lowest level of this laboratory contains a mysterious room whose purpose is entirely unknown. However, where I want to go is even deeper than that. I don't actually... Yeah, I use the. I, I don't remember how we got in. Don't smile like that, ever. Feels like a spike. Fuck off. Not really sure that's how science works, Fluttermane. Indigo disc detected. Oh, was I, I was supposed to give that to her, wasn't I? Insert indigo disc for greater access privileges. Okay. I like how it just detected that it was in my pocket. In you go, disc. <laughs> Area zero, under depths. Nice. So yeah, nothing harder to get through than the four FPS door. No, that was that was the game. That would that that was the get. That was not the stream. That was the game. <laughs> Way too dark in here. I just smacked my head on something. So you're just running around without any idea where you're going. Wow, Kiki. Sounds like someone's finally breaking out of their funk. Hmm. Shut. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Quick, back in character. The panel we used to unlock the gate. Didn't it say something about where the elevator goes? I don't know. You think my ass is paying attention? As far as I know, there's only one elevator inside the Zero Lab. So the panel must have been referring to the elevator we're currently inside. We have definitely not been here before. Oh my god! Yeah, we have definitely not been here. Yes, according to my data, our current position is far deeper... And we last were. Could the elevator have taken us down even further down than its previous destination? You know, that, that's what you wanted. A massive cavern exists beneath Area Zero. And there slumbers Terrapagos, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. His body has become crystal, protecting it from its hostile outsiders. It appears that rousing it will take some time. In this cavern, I have witnessed the terrestrial phenomenon occurring in a way I've never seen above ground. Terrestrialization that appears to hold the power of every known type. I have dubbed this terror type the Stellar Type for now. Could Terrapagos' influence be at play? Who would have possibly guessed that the turtle was the hidden treasure of Area Zero? Yes, stellar terror type though. That that I am intrigued. Glamora. Okay. Seems to be charged with some kind of strange energy. Oh, is this gonna be the stellar terror type or something? Oh, we off the double battles now. That looks to me... Yep, that is probably Stella. That looks cool. I don't know how this Terra type works, though. Well, I might as well throw a Veil up, since I don't know what it's going to do. Sludge Wave. Hang on. Wait, does it... If it's this Terra type, does it just give it the, the Terra boost no matter what kind of move it uses? That's insane. If that's how it works. So you're telling me this shit's like... It's like Libero. But for Terra. Let's hit it with a Hydro Steam. Doesn't die. Oh, that's why. Oh, that was fascinating. Gives the boost for each different type, but only once for each. Yeah, I thought I it used Sludge Wave a second time, and I don't think it got the boost that time. So what, you... So in order to get the boost... You would have to use then a different type. I have to look into it, see how it actually works. Bri, you're talking too much. I want to go and see the turtle. Come on. I, ha I hate to agree with Kieran on anything, but let's go see the turtle. Very sparkly down here. Why is Carmine way off over this way? You good, Carmine? You handle looking around the water. I don't want to get my clothes. Oh, fine. Okay. Yeah, it'll be... Yep, I see it. I see it. Garganacle. Whoa, look at the tree! Woohoo! That is not ice. And then they ruin the mood by making us fight a Garganacle. Excellent. Oh, yeah, there you go. We, <laughs> we've gone back to whiny bitch, Kieran. 
Quit your blabbering. Just do it. Oh, we got the old Kieran back. No, I want to sit here and mire this tree for a bit longer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The state of this thing. I would absolutely have a picnic here. I don't know if the game would let me. Ooh, okay. Holy treasure room. Shit. What's in here? Ground shards. Oh, it's all going to be shards. Oh, we hit the jackpot, boys. We hit the absolute jackpot. Oh, ain't going to have to be grinding any terror raids anytime soon. We got so many shards just then. Oh, this looks promising. My terror orb. I think it's reacting to something. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, Miss Bride doesn't have one because she's not cool. Um, Kieran just goes sprinting in there, of course. We'll take a nice leisurely stroll in there, Carmine. Hmm. You'd get a bit on eBay for all this, wouldn't you? Kieran's just frantically looking around. Vibes here are totally on a different level. The hidden treasure. Where is it? There, Kieran, up ahead. There's something among those pillars. Oh, yeah, I see it. This stone's the hidden treasure. Give me a moment, just need to check something. Kieran, I know you probably never watched Indiana Jones. Don't just go picking that thing up, okay? You, you, I don't need to sit here and explain what happens when you do shit like this. Don't. You're going to send a boulder tumbling down. It's going to squash all of us. What, what is bro doing? He's trying to rip it off the crystal. He's got strong Pokemon. He can go anywhere he wants. He can be friends with anyone. I loved Ogapon. Are you still going on about Ogapon? She rejected you. Even you, sis. You were being all nasty toward him at first, but then boom. You were like best friends in no time. I've got nothing. I worked so hard. And for what? I still lost in the end. This is all I have left now. Found it. The crystal is definitely what we're looking for. Go on, Kieran. Pull with everything you've got. Show us the hidden... Tra Why are you encouraging this? He's losing his mind. And you're just cheering him on. Oh, well done. That's it. We're all dead. We're all dead. It's over. There's no doubting it. This crystal must be Terrapagos. Oh... Go on, smite him. Shit. Hey, there it is. Aww. Oh, it's adorable. I already love this little guy. Oh. <laughs> Chat, he didn't just do that. He, he, there ain't no way. Ain't no way he just did that. That's why Drayton brought it up earlier. Remember when he gave us the Master Ball and he said everyone who becomes champion gets one of these? So of course this dickhead would have one as well, wouldn't he? This thing takes like two steps towards us. Ignores his dumb ass. And this dude just whips out the Mackie D's Master Ball. Immediately. I can't believe you just did that, Kieran. I mean, li li listen, 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 listen. Fair is fair, but seriously? Fucking really? It's it, it's a wild Pokemon. It's fair game, but like, holy shit. How are you going to swipe the legendary from me like that? Very well done, Kieran. Bro, actually came prepared with the Master Ball. Listen, Kieran. I just want you to know, I respect the hustle. I do. I really do. I get it. And I respect it. But now I'm going to have to destroy you. I'm going to have to just eviscerate 
every fiber of your soul until there is nothing left and then piss on the ashes because there ain't no way you just swipe my turtle like that think you could give us a little demonstration of terapagus's power right now oh you heard her wolfie you want me to fight you with that thing on your team huh oh let's take on this bozo one more time go on then i'm ready dipshit Get in position. Dude has the audacity to swipe my legendary and now he wants to fight me with it. Straight off rip. You made a big mistake, Kieran. You de you definitely beat me? Alright, bet. Show me. Go on, get your bitch ass master ball out. There it is. I'd hate to give it a tummy bug. Do you even know how this thing works? Do you even know that it has an ability that transforms it straight away see i knew that i bet you didn't know that uh, it looked cuter before so this is the hidden treasure's true form with this i can win for sure not unless the sun's shining zen headbutt this probably kills no it wow i'm gonna have to let the tummy bug die because i want i want squashy out here squashy needs a chance Terra Shell. Okay. Don't know what that did. Go on, kill me, kill me, kill me. Can you... Dude, how is it taking you like six turns to kill my bug? Come on. And then he misses. Kieran, this... this, I'm, 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 I'm disappointed so far. Can you please just kill me? Thank you. God. Now is the time. <laughs> Let's go, Squashy! For the glory of the Empire! And six-foot ferrets everywhere. Tidy up. Get all this shit out of here. This place looks like a dump. Go on, terastalize. Last resort. Go! 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 <laughs> go on, Squashy. Let's see it. Big hit. Ooh, big hit. <laughs> okay. Well, if, if that ain't the squashy redemption arc, then I don't know what is. What more could you possibly want? You swipe the legendary turtle and you still got dustbin by Harry Bo Squashy. I thought if I just had Terrapagos, if I had the hidden treasure of Area Zero, it would make me stronger. I thought it'd let me beat Wolfie. Yeah, life just ain't that cool. Of course, Terrapagos is made of terrestrial energy. You must terrestrialize it. Well done, Briar. You've solved the mystery. This thing's terracing. Ooh, boy. Look at the state of this thing. Oh. See that? Watching Madon had to save your life. Not gonna work. Damn! Bro! <laughs> it just released itself! That is the ultimate Chad move. Bro just said, bitch, I ain't yours anymore. You failed the test. Did he act- did this thing dead ass just release itself? Oh, but he moth. Yeah, let me and Carmine handle this. Dude released himself from a master ball. It doesn't get any more disrespectful than that. Oh, God. Fuck's sake. Okay. Okay, okay. So we're doing it this way? Fine. Let's get a first impression. Because Lord knows Kieran didn't make a very good one. Terra Starstorm. Calm down, Ness. Oh boy, this could hurt. Okay, not that bad, not that bad. Let's see if we can U-turn it. Get someone else in. We need more power. Gotta get those numbers up. Aku Aku. Now is your time. Then headbutt, we eat those. All day, every day of the week. Hey, turtle. You wanna try that Zen headbutt a second time? 
Fancy trying that one again? Uh. No, you weren't supposed to do that. We'll go for a dragon dance anyway. Hey, based! Let's go, Carmine. Actually using Sinister correctly? I've taught you well. Oh, now you use Zen Headbutt. God. Can't catch a break with this thing. Yeah, that's doing so much to that shield. This thing's a normal type, I'm pretty sure. So I don't really... I probably should just Terra, but... At the same time... I want to see if I've got something with a... Yeah, no, no, we're not going to Terra. We're going to Terra, we might as well do it properly. You think your shit's cool? How about that? What's this Ivy Cudgel saying? Oh, it's big damage here. Oh, that is much more like it. Shield's gone. Excellent. Can I just say, it's so jarring to be doing a terror raid that isn't lagging as fuck. Oh, again? Kieran actually going to make himself useful, or... Yeah, we know you're useless, but... No, he just ain't, ain't going to do shit. Okay, uh, let me spike your shield real quick. I don't even know what it wants to do. Actually kind of struggling against this thing. Now, Wolfie, terrestrialize your Pokemon. You gonna let me? Thank you. Nicely done. Onion bum bag. Wise the fuck up and help me. Come on. Yeah, do your little Super Saiyan shit. Send out your stupid apple. There you go. Now make yourself useful. Oh, is it water type right now? Could be water right now. I didn't actually see how much I healed with that just then. It might not have been too much. No, it was not very much. The owner lives! If it's water type, then it's fine. Because... Oh, uh, no, I... I put Raging Boner in the PC, didn't I? Bloody good effort, Fiona. You done well. You done very well. Ow. Super effective on... Give me a super effective on blue. Don't miss. There we go. Shield's dead. Should be dead. Dead shield. Dead shield. Dead shield. Excellent. Oh my lord. Failed. Ah, you ain't got all that energy left. Unlucky. Well, my special attack's cut in half, which doesn't really help, but I'll see how much this does anyway. Sweet FA. Yeah. Who boy. <laughs> I've got one Pokemon left. Guess who it is. Like it was written in the stars. It just couldn't have been anyone else. What? Are, how are we taking this Star Storm though? If this kills me, then. Oh. No, it's fine. We take it. We take it. We take it. It would be my distinct pleasure to wrap this up and beat the shit out of this turtle. You couldn't even take the moment. Kieran, you're so shit. You couldn't even nick the moment off me. Leave it to the leave it to the experts, please. And it's done. Maybe it'll go inside a ball now. It ain't going inside yours. Use my master ball just as disrespect. <laughs> no, you can have a premier ball. You're not shiny, but I'll, I'll I'll let it slide. My turtle. And we are done. Just like that. Is it over? Is everyone okay? All good. How poetic that the behemoth is the one to finish it off. Okay, so I low-key thought that Bri was going to go on some actual villain arc, and no, she just got overexcited. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I looked up to Wolfie for so long. I wanted to be like him so, so badly. Didn't know what else to do. But I guess I just don't have it in me to be like him after all. Well, better late than never. Finally, I can let it go. But sniff, I just sniffle. <laughs> Wah! You two must have been so scared. But you all shone brilliantly just now. You were truly dazzling. And in the end, our wolf even managed to catch Terrapagos. So I think we consider our little expedition into Area Zero good and finished. Hey, listen, Squashy. Squashy at a moment. I just like the way that it came down to the behemoth. And then Kieran really thought he was going to nick the last hit off me and he couldn't even do it. I know I caused a lot of trouble for the League Club and everyone. I wanted to give everyone a proper apology, including you. So, I'm sorry. 
And uh, guess what I'm trying to say is... I want to make things right. Do you think... We could start over from zero and be friends again? So we got the turtle, we beat the game, but we have to stay friends with Kieran. I honestly, I don't know if that's a happy or a sad ending. <laughs>